and the Big Weck Radio Local Business Spotlight segment. Welcome back to Western New York Living. Now, this next statement I'm about to say will probably disappoint some kids and excite some parents. The new school year is just a few weeks away. All right, I'm just a messenger, but I'm also excited too. My next guest though, we're here to make sure all students and parents understand that are legal obligations when it comes to a stop school bus. So happy to have all this once again here from Salino Law, Stephen Sioka. Stephen, good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, back to school time, always exciting. It is super <laughs> exciting, especially if you got little kids. But those school buses are gonna be back on the road here and there are certain things we need to pay attention to. And there's, there's a lot that goes on in the area of school buses, isn't it? Not, no kidding, because people, just like in the spring when people aren't used to seeing motorcycles on the road, come fall, you're not used to seeing school buses on the road necessarily, and everything changes. As we know, traffic patterns change, traffic conditions change, kids are everywhere, so you have to really be careful. Let's talk about the flashing lights on the school bus. There's yellow, there's red. Um, what, when do I have to, I mean, the red obviously is a stop, the arm comes out there, but what about those yellow flashing lights? What does that mean? So here's the thing, a lot of people, when they see any flashing lights on a school bus, people are stopping. That's probably the safest thing to do, but with yellow flashing lights, it's kind of like yellow lights uh, with traffic signals. So it's really, you can continue past a school bus, but you have to proceed cautiously. Uh, just be aware, also yellow flashing lights are usually the indication that the bus is about to stop. So you're gonna have red flashing lights coming shortly thereafter. So kind of get ready. All right, so the yellows use extreme caution. Yes. With it, stopping's probably best. Uh, red is absolutely stopping here. Wh what's, the, what's the distance we're supposed to have? So the, the law says you are supposed to, the first, the lead vehicle has to stop at least 20 feet away from a school bus, which is a fairly good distance. The purpose behind that is to allow the driver to get a good sight of the area because as we know, you never know where kids are going to be coming from. So that 20 feet is going to allow a driver to see the area, spot any children, spot any hazards and act accordingly. It, important and I, I think this may seem like an obvious answer, but a good reminder. Both directions have to stop, correct? They do. And sometimes, you know, I've seen it myself where the people who, are, who come to a stop behind the school bus heading in the same direction, you see the people coming in the opposite direction, sometimes they'll start to creep closer and closer to the bus thinking, do I really have to stop because the bus is across the street? The answer to that is yes. You also have to stop at an intersecting street. So if a bus is there and there's a T intersection or a four way intersection, every vehicle at that intersection has to come to a stop. Is it a crime to pass a school bus with the red flashing lights on? So it is and it isn't. So here's the thing, it's a, it's a vehicle and traffic infraction, but it's a vehicle and traffic infraction that can subject you to jail time. Mm. So that's the, that's the one thing that people don't realize. So your first infraction is a fine between $250 and $400 or, and or 30 days in jail. So if you egregiously pass a school bus and a police officer sees it or you get caught by a bus camera, you can go to jail for that. And then the second offense, 180 days in jail potentially. So that's a, that's a pretty big time in jail if you pass a school bus. So you have to be super careful when that happens. Is it the same in parking lots? Yes. So that's the other thing too. Like people think, well, I'm in a parking lot. I don't have to stop for the school bus. I can just go around it. I can kind of swing. No, if you are within the vicinity of a school bus in a parking lot, at an intersection, anywhere, the best advice is to stop because ultimately we don't want any children to get injured. Right. Yeah, the, yeah the, the, the precaution, the reason, the precious cargo, uh, either getting on or off the school bus and on board. They're great information uh, from Salino Law. And of course, the personal injury attorneys at Salino Law represent injury victims throughout New York State. They also want to make sure you obey all those laws for school bus safety as a new school year approaches. Their offices are located at 800 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. And for more for information, give Salino Law a call at 888-888. 888 you can also head to their website at selenolaw.com to learn more about all the different services that Selenolaw does provide.